JMoz is a very user-friendly software system available to the public. The official website can be found at the top of the screen in the search bar. Once you have gotten to the website, you should create an account by simply adding your name and email address. Once this is done, you can go ahead and log in. The next thing you want to do is download the software. A great thing about JMoz is that it gives you the option to choose the most compatible downloading link to suit your computer. I have gone ahead and clicked the Mac OS link because I have an Apple laptop. From there, you follow all the instructions and it should take you to this. Be sure to specify which celestial body you want as JMoz has an option of bodies to choose from. I am working on Mars so I will leave it as it is. Now there are many things that JMoz can do, but on this tutorial we can stick to the basics. On the top right hand corner are tools that you can use to measure or interact with the surface. On the left hand column you can add layers by clicking on the plus sign. For my project I worked on a thermal inertia so this is what I searched for. You simply click the layer you want and JMoz brings it up. In the overlays section, you have overlays like your latitudinal and longitudinal grid, your scale bar or the north arrow. These are great for creating very precise and accurate maps. Lastly, if you wish to make graphs, the profile tool is perfect. The nomenclature overlay gives you a list of vast amounts of structures that the Martian surface hosts. For my project, I looked at craters, so as an example, we can go to the Jessera crater. All you need to do is search the name and JMoz takes you right there. Using the magnifying tool, I zoomed in to have a closer look. If I am investigating the thermal inertia of this crater, I will go to my layers and make my layer visible on the surface by clicking the M, which stands for main view. And the colorized thermal inertia layer will show up just like this. You can choose to take it off the main view if you wish and turn it back on later. For now, I will take mine off. If we are wanting to make a graph, we need to set up the profile tool, so double click it. Again, we are looking at thermal inertia, so we click the set numeric map source tab to make sure that this is the graph that we are going to show. You want to make sure the tab all is selected so that any layer can be found. You then simply type in thermal inertia into the search bar and click the layer. Make sure the layer you have selected is the same layer on your main view. When you are finished, click OK. You click the interactive tool at the top right hand corner that looks like the graph. We are going to draw a line over the entire crater to see what the thermal inertia looks like. Make sure to double click when you are finished drawing your line. To see the graph, you go back to the profile tab on the left column and double click. Your graph will show up with everything you need. There will be an interactive tool on the graph to help you read off the values. At the bottom of the graph, you can see your profile line, the value and the coordinates. It also has a key to help you keep track if you wish to add more profiles. If you wish to learn more, the official website offers additional assistance. JMoz is a great educational platform for students just like me and is very user friendly.